St. John's has been here for 50 years and it's been a great blessing. I have learned that God is amazing because he helps others and he loves everybody. I think it's important to have a good relationship with God at my age because high school and middle school, people judge you on how you look. If you have God by your side, it will be a lot easier to have faith in yourself that you are confident of who you are and you know you are beautiful on the inside. I think it's important to gather and worship as a community because I think there's a a strength that rubs off from one person to another. I love the music here, even in the traditional service and also the contemporary worship. The outdoor worship, I love it so much. I just like how the energy is ecstatic and you're here with your community. I see God with us in choir. As we learn a song, as we get better at it, as, as it harmonizes, it's, it's a harmony with God. It's one thing to come to church and have the worship experience, and that's great. It's very important. But there isn't a person out there who isn't hurting in some way. If you join a small group, it will just jumpstart your ability to be in a relationship with other people. And um, their faith comes off onto you and gives you strength. Uh, we have just recently really broken through a large barrier for men and we're starting to pray together. Now that's a big deal for these guys. It's a powerful experience. I think St. John's has been blessed with more and more people just recently now becoming parts of, part of small groups. So we're learning all the time. But when you have a living room of people that are sharing ideas on a passage of scripture, it's just uh, synergistic. You're like, oh, I never thought of that. Growing up here, I saw God in a lot of the adults here showing how to not just believe in God, but how to live your faith. St. John's does have a passion for youth, and because of that, the youth are having a passion for God. I really like um, how they have Sunday school. I get to connect with some of my friends that are the same age, and they believe too, because I go to a public school, and not everybody believes the same way I do. And I think kids are dealing with a lot more now than they were even when I was in high school, just through some of the conversations. And I think it's important to have a faith-based group of their peers, but also other adults that aren't necessarily their parents working with them, because um, it's a safe place to talk about those issues. I think we have a congregation that is very strong in reaching out. And serving doesn't mean you have to go be a missionary, and serving doesn't mean you have to teach Sunday school. but. Every day, if we're open to the needs of other people in our community and the needs of our fellow congregation members, um, you will find ability and opportunity to serve every day. One of the things that drew me to St. John's was their outreach to not only just our community, but the community around the world. We have very powerful relationships with our sister congregations. We have one in Tanzania. We have one uh, inner city, Milwaukee at All Peoples, and then we have the one in El Salvador. The fact that we have those connections with other Christians in so many places around the world is just fantastic to me. At St. John's, the youth here like to help people. Whenever I ask what they want to do this year in youth group, it usually revolves around serving others. On the mission trip the youth group took to Kentucky, I saw God in the homeowner, Lois, that we were working for. She was not only very grateful for what we were doing, but she also cooked us meals. She was just really nice and shared stories with us. And it was just a really great experience. I would encourage people who are struggling to get outside of their comfort zone or struggling to say yes, to just take the step. It's just a leap of faith. I think here at St. John's, I don't feel like there's a lot of judgment at all. I feel like there is a lot of support and there are opportunities everywhere. This church, does an outstanding job of educating, of caring for its members, and my life would be nowhere near as abundant and as peaceful and as comfortable as it is if I did not have the people in this church and the faith and the support they bring to me. And I want to help people understand 
who he is and what he does for this world, why we are even here, why the universe is here. God made this world. He said, let there be light, and he made it. There's something inside of us that wants to say yes to these things and is nudging at us. And when you open that door, it, it will be a rich experience beyond belief.